Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial today. This is just going to be covering how to use the simple voice chat on the OG network server. Uh, I would like to clarify before we go on, unless you have the first rank or higher, you will be unable to speak using this mod, but you will be able to hear other people using the mod. But without further ado, let's get on with it. I have all the links in the description and just follow along with me. The first thing you're going to be need to do is install a fabric client and it's a very simple process. Just open up the link, first link in description, click download for windows, just give you an option to download. Once you've downloaded it, open it up. Now you'll be introduced with a little installer here. Just choose 1.19.2. Make sure your loader version is on the most latest and stable version. You shouldn't need to change anything else. Make sure you have create a profile ticked on and then click install. This won't take very long. There we are. Now once we've gone along with this, assuming you've installed the game before, everything should be working well already. So go ahead and open up the second link in the description and you'll be met with this page. The first thing you're going to want to do is have a look here. You can see the specific versions and it will show you which one's the most latest and most stable. We're just going to be downloading the 1.19.2 version. We'll have to wait 5 seconds but it'll be done in a sec and it will install. Gonna go ahead and install that and save it. And while that finishes up, we'll go ahead and download the simple voice chat mod too. Go ahead and open it up. Same thing again. We'll want to choose the latest one for the right version, 1.19.2. And make sure you're downloading the fabric version. If you download the forge version, it will not work. I'm gonna go ahead and click download file. We'll have to wait another 5 seconds. Now, go ahead and open up your file explorer. Navigate to your downloads. You should have these three things. You no longer need the fabric installer as we've already installed it. Now with these two mods, I'm just going to put this to the side real quick and minimize this a little bit. Now I'm going to click the Windows key and the R key on my keyboard. This should open up a run. You'll want to type percent appdata percent. I'll also put this in the description. Then click OK. You'll be met with your appdata roaming file. This is essentially a place where a bunch of programs used to store configuration files and settings for everything. So go ahead and find .minecraft, click on that one, and you'll be met with this folder, and you should have a mods folder. If there is not a mods folder, and you just see nothing, go ahead and create one. Make sure it's mods, or lowercase, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. I'm going to drag these in, and pop them in there. And that should be it for the tutorial. Now, you should feel free to go and open your game. I might speed up the launch time a bit. And if you're interested in upping the performance similar to Optifine for this, I will also show how to install a pack of mods that I've pre-made up that make your game and your life a lot more enjoyable. So go ahead and click play. You should have a fabric loader 1.19.2 here. If you don't, navigate to installations, click new installation, and you go in here, and you should see fabric loader 1.19.2. And then you just have to go ahead and do that, name it anything, and then create. And that will be it. And just for performance reasons, I'm going to show you how to dedicate more RAM. So if you're unsure how much RAM you have, Go ahead and open up your task manager, 
This can also be found by searching it up like that. Then head to performance and memory. You can see here, see here that I have 16 gigabytes. And I want to dedicate half of that to my Minecraft. So XMX right here, where it says XMX 2G, that is saying how much it will dedicate to your game. So I'm going to get dedicate 8 gigabytes. This will just make chunk loading and everything else a lot more smooth. I'm going to save that now. I'm going to head to the fabric loader, make sure it's selected, click play. Apologies for the random cut there. My recording software cut out and crashed. But luckily I saved the recording. So once you get in game, it should all work. But I'm just going to show you how to install my mod pack real quick. You're gonna to want to click the Windows and R key again. Navigate your way back to the mods folder. As you can see, there's a bunch more mods here that weren't here before. But just for the purpose of this, I'm gonna get rid of them. Oh, my bad, the game's open. Get rid of them. And we'll go ahead and open up the zip file. This will be the fourth link in the description. And just drag those into your mods folder. Like this. And that's it. This mod pack is pre-compiled with the voice chat and a bunch of quality of life mods. Once you've got that, go ahead and open up your game. Now, once your game's loaded up, everything should work really well. You'll see you have a few extra buttons here. If you're worried about any of the mods or sketched out by the download, feel free to check out all the links, which you can see all here. And now, I'm just going to head into my game. Gonna navigate to the survival multiplayer. Once you're in, you should see a little symbol at the bottom left. If not, that's fine. I go to your options, controls, keybinds, and you're gonna want to scroll down. As you can see here, we have the voice chat mod, and we're gonna need to bind the voice chat settings. This will be unbound for you by default, but I just have it bound to my semicolon. You can bind this key to whatever's convenient for you. Once you've done that, head into the game and click that bind we just binded. You'll be met with this settings. I recommend turning your activation type to voice instead of push to talk. Otherwise, you're going to be having to hold a key to talk. If that is something you'd prefer, the default key is caps lock. And we're going to need to head to select microphone. We just need to make sure that our microphone is selected correct. I'm using the microphone Blue Snowball, but you can use whatever microphone's working for you. And go back. If you're not sure if your microphone's going to work, click enable microphone testing. As, As you can, can see, see, it, it gives, gives me a playback, playback and I, I can, can hear my voice. voice. That should be it. Aside from adjust volumes, you're able to change each player's volume independently. Besides that, we now have shaders, among other things, which we can enable to make the game prettier. Like this. Hope this helped, guys.